Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Will my ex come back for Gemini? Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus signs for August 2022. So these are the Gemini people that are that are entertaining the idea of wanting to reconcile with an ex, or an ex wanting to reconcile with you, uh, or uh, both of you guys are looking to do that. So uh, we're gonna take a look at you and your ex's current mutual energies. Okay, uh, we'll see what happened between you guys that caused the separation here, and then we'll finish off the read to see if there's gonna be a reconciliation between you two. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? All right, so... Let's get started, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini and their ex. What are their current mutual energies right now? What is Gemini's uh, mutual energies with their ex for August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Even though I'm asking about the mutual energies, it could be a situation that only one of you guys is feeling this way. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the Fool, the Star, the Hangman, Seven of Swords, and the Judgment card, okay? So the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Fool, Aries energy could also be Aquarius here. We have the uh, Star and the Hangman, Aquarius energy, and the and Pisces energy, Seven of Swords, and Judgment, Sagittarius energy. I feel like someone here is trying to protect themselves, trying to take a step back here. Um, you know, I feel like, it, it, let's say if one person is trying to message someone, send someone a text message, someone here is not responding, okay? Yeah, I, I just feel like someone here does not want to play the games anymore. Someone here does not want to get hurt again. So I feel like we have someone here that's going through a major spiritual awakening here, Gemini. This could be you, yeah? Maybe both of you guys are. I'm feeling like more so one of you guys are and the other one is not. So I'm going with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles here. Um, I feel like someone here is missing you, but they don't want to admit that they're missing you. Okay? Um, tell me about the Fool. We have the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like this is you right here, Gemini. Seems like you're just, you know, on your own path right now. You're starting your own path here. Okay, you're starting over again. You're focusing on your healing. You're focusing on seeking enlightenment here. You're focused on seeking happiness, healing. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? You're the Ten of Wands. So, um, Gemini, I feel like you're doing a lot of releasing. You're surrendering right now. You're no longer holding on to this person. I feel like you're more focused on looking for new love or that you're focused on filling uh, f f uh, filling your own cup up here. We have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords here. Seems like this... It seems like this is a very stressful process for you, uh, Gemini, but I feel like you're doing it. Okay, or that it could be that this person's really stressing you out. You might be feeling this person's energy. You just don't want the drama here anymore. Um, you know, um, with the Five of Wands in the reverse. You know, with the Knight of Wands, this could be an indication that this person does not want to let go of you. But at the same time, I feel like, like I said, I feel like this person's missing you. I feel like this person's feeling alone, but you don't want to admit that, okay? What, uh, what happened between uh, Gemini and their ex that caused the separation here? What happened between Gemini and their ex that caused the separation here? Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for August 2022. What caused the separation between Gemini and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for August 2022. Four of Pentacles. I don't know why I did that. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy. Yeah, I feel like you were dealing with someone here that didn't really have a lot to give. Someone here was definitely holding back or someone here was trying to control you, 
okay? This could have been a very controlling relationship. Aries energy with the Emperor here. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Five of Swords. And we have someone here that was playing a lot of mind games here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person played the victim a lot to get what they wanted from you. It could be anything. It could be sex, could be money, could be your energy here, um, could be your car, could be your home, anything. Yeah, whoever this is, this person's financially not stable. This person might not even have a job. This person might be homeless or bound to be homeless. Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands here. It seems like there was a lot of betrayal here. There was a lot of pain. There was a lot of hurt. Because I feel like you guys had arrangements here, higher levels of commitment. But I just feel like someone here just didn't really give or that someone here was not really emotionally investing. Okay, and I feel like it was this emperor here or this masculine energy. Libra energy with a justice card, eight of cups. Tell me about the king of uh, pentacles in the reverse. And the six of swords here. I just feel like this person's energy really kept the energy of the relationship very stagnant. It just didn't really move, just didn't really grow, never really evolved. We have the Five of Cups here. So I feel like, you know, I feel like this person really let you down or that this person, you know, really emotionally caused some emotional and mental strife here with you due to the mind games, due to the emotional games here, okay? The uh, Ten of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Wands. I feel like you really love this person here, okay? I just feel like this person didn't really want to work with you in making this relationship work. So I feel like this person, you guys were both not on the same page here. Yeah, this person was super, super, super in and out, yeah? This person could have been dealing with an ex here too. Seems like there was a lot of lies and deception here. We have the Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. You know, I feel like, you know, with the Ace of Cups here, I feel like you're, you you realize you're better off looking for someone new. Will there be reconciliation between Gemini and their ex? Will there be reconciliation between Gemini and their ex for August 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Seven of Wands. I would say that's a huge no. Okay. You know, that Seven of Wands is, uh, you know, an energy of someone here that pushing someone away or resisting someone. We have the Hermit here and the Ace of Pentacles. You could be focusing on yourself here. You know, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. Yeah, I feel like you're focusing on yourself. Um, so we have the Emperor to the Empress. We have the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, okay? I think we saw the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. True pair here. Um, I do feel like someone here is trying to come back. Okay, but, you know, if someone here is coming back with an offer here, an offer of higher levels of commitment or rekindling this relationship, but um, I feel like you're going to push this away, uh, 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 Gemini. We have the Hermit here and the uh, Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you've gone into Hermit mode here, okay? I just feel like you completely withdrew from this person, and I feel like you're on a path of healing here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, so I feel like there's an energy of definitely you leveling up or rising up here or being enlightened or, or, or ascending here. Um, so I feel like you just don't have any time for this individual anymore. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you've been through a lot. Your boundaries are up with this individual. Queen of Swords, Leaper, Aquarius, Gemini, the Hierophant. And we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, this could be an indication that you're just focusing on your work. You're do, focusing on your spiritual work. You're focusing on your healing here. Um, the Hermit. Two of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. We have the World. Yeah, this is over. I just, I just feel like you're focusing on your happiness here. Okay. Um... We have the world. I feel like you're trying to gain some clarity here too. It seems like you're going through a huge awakening. I do feel like this person that you were dealing with, they're gonna come back. Yeah, they wanna they wanna rekindle this. But I feel like yeah, I feel like they're they're you're just gonna move on. You're just gonna move on. You're gonna move on from this relationship. It seems like you're finding self-love. Okay, you're sort of like getting back on your own two feet, you know, sort of like feeling it sort of thing, you know, being single, sort of enjoying it. All right. So uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.